thank you everyone. If you could just be as quick as possible. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are ready to go. We have Gregor Townsend and Grant Gilchrist. If you'd like to put your hand in the air as clear as possible, we will go to the floor for questions. Any questions? At the front here, please. It's just there. Do you want to start with Grant and then yeah. you can go back to the change room and then I'll continue? It's yeah. okay. Grant, Darcy Graham, four tries tonight, now joint second on the scoring list all time. Do you think he's going to catch Hoggy? Um, if it was a betting man, I'd say yes. Um, no, he was outstanding tonight. You always know he, I've played a lot of games with Darcy for Edinburgh and Scotland, and um, you know exactly where you're going to get week in, week out. And um, yeah, some of the some of the tries he scored tonight were were truly world class, and I'm sure he'll keep doing that um, as long as as long as he plays. What were your reflections on the performance tonight? Yeah, no, I thought it was a really professional performance from us. Um, what we set out to do is make sure that we got our energy levels right and that we were accurate. Um, you know, Romania were physical at the start of the game and, and throughout the game they were putting in big shots, but I loved the way we we stuck to our systems. You know, at times we got a bit ragged, but across the 80 minutes we generally stuck to system. Um, we, our breakdown work was good and, and we were able to exploit them once, once we got in a higher phase count. Thank you. Any more questions? Thank you. Grant, obviously, you know, brilliant win tonight, but you're already very soon switching your mind to, to Ireland. How do you feel in terms of what you've done on the, put out in the field tonight going into that Ireland game? Everyone talks about momentum. You'll, you'll have that, I guess. Yeah, that was the the bigger picture tonight. We knew we needed five points, but we need more than that. Um, we needed a performance that, that was a step forward for us as a group. Um, I think we got that, but we know that next week is, is a new week. We need to build the week, and um, you don't need to big up next weekend any more than, than everybody else will. It's it's huge, so our preparation will, will reflect that, and we'll give up absolutely everything um, through the week and, and obviously on the Saturday. Thank you. Any more hands? Yeah, just at the front here. Thank you. Um, Greg, can I just ask you what your thoughts were on Hamish uh, and the shift that he put in tonight? Yeah, I thought, I thought it was very good. He, he started um, carrying really well, um, and that gave a big boost to the team, knowing that to be physical against a physical side and you can carry those those initial hits, you'll get, you'll make yards there and you'll get quick ball, and he was a big part of that. And he, he, he's trained really well all week. Um, I think he's in excellent physical shape as well. He, sh he showed that tonight. Has he stuck up a hand for next week, perhaps? Yeah, well, of course. Uh, not thought about selection. We'll we'll get onto that tomorrow. But having seen the game tonight, I'm sure we'll go into more detail around um, rack clears and tackles and other work. But I, I thought he played well. Thank you. Did you have your hand at the front, sir? Bonjour, uh, Midi Olympique, Jérôme Prévost. Uh, Grégor, d'un point de vue technique, qu'est-ce qui a vraiment bien marché ce soir uh, Beaucoup de choses. Uh, le, le touche était très efficace, surtout le ballon porté. Uh, la connexion entre le, les avants et le, les trois quarts était impeccable pour la, la plupart de la, le match. Notre discipline, euh, jusqu'à la 70e minute, était, était très bonne aussi. Mais la, la chose la plus importante, c'était l'équipe. L'équipe a bien fonctionné. Il y avait beaucoup de cohésion euh, sur le terrain. Euh, um, that's it too. Thank you. On the right. Craig, I can just ask you about Darcy as well. Uh, I mean, he's only just turned 26 this summer, I think. So, you know, he's not only got a chance to, to break that record, but absolutely smash it, does he not? Yeah, yeah. I think he, he's someone that um, is going to create opportunities for 
for scoring tries and a lot of that is his willingness to get on ball like he he called a lot of the the balls because he he got back off the ground to um to be in position he saw space um and he also is a great finisher his footwork for I think it was his fourth try was was incredible he had a, a couple of assists in there too so he, he certainly plays for the team and it, and it was brilliant to see I think uh the last two games, Darcy's really gone, gone for it, um, and we've seen that in training. Uh, it is sometimes tough when you're uh, a winger and you've maybe not had the, the game time that he would have liked over the, over the summer when he picked up that little niggle, but he's now flying, and that's, that's brilliant to see. It was an all-new... Or was it, it was not quite an all-new mid midfield unit because Chris played last week, but the, the three of them were, were outstanding as, in concert, were they not? They were, yeah, I thought... Ben Healy has to take a lot of credit to, to how well he um, put, put people into space. Uh, I thought he managed his game very well in that first half because uh, Romania were defending well and they were very physical, so he mixed up the game with some, some really good kicks. And then the second half, uh, the temptation was to go to the width uh, a lot, but there was also some space for for him and others are close to him to to go in between defenders, uh, and he did, he did that well. Um, so yeah, no, I'm really, really pleased for him. I think he's, tra he's trained really well, and he was he's professional, and clinical in his performance tonight. Thank you. On the left. Um, Greg, you, is any, can Grant go back to the change room if any more? Have we got any more questions for Grant? Yeah, all good. It's okay. Easy. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. No worries. Um, Greg, a high pressure game next week. Do you think, given Ireland's uh, unhappy history in the tournament. Do you think the pressure is going to be bigger on them for the for that game? Uh, I'm not going to answer that question. Ireland are the number one team in the world. Um, they're on the back of 16 wins, so I'm sure they're they're not going to be thinking about what's happened in previous tournaments. Um, they they've got a lot of confidence in how they've how they have played for the last two or three years, and obviously they'll they'll take a, lot, a huge amount of confidence from that the last game that they managed to to get a win there. And in terms of the way the, the group has panned out, though, you, you don't have any complaints about the fact that, you know, the scheduling and the fact that you'd only played one game and they played three, etc. No, no. Probably have complaints about the draw um, and when it was made and the rankings were based on four years ago, but nothing about the scheduling. Just at the front here. Thank you. Gregor, how pleased are you with the way the team responded from a South Africa game? Back-to-back -back wins, pretty comfortable. And how well set are you for next week? Yeah, I'm really pleased. I think the, there was a lot of hard work that has gone in at training. Uh, we had a two-week break between South Africa and Tonga, and we had three very tough sessions in the heat, physical sessions. Uh, and the players trained really, really well this week, a very physical um, session on Wednesday. So they, they're putting the, in the, the hard yards um, that is required to, to then play at a level where you can score the amount of tribes we've scored the last two games, where we've been able to set up this shootout game with Ireland. So the credit goes to the players and, and how hard they've worked. And how hard they worked tonight and, and against Tonga. Like both games were very physical. Um, and you, you've got to make sure you win that physical battle. You work hard to to be an extra man in, in attack and defence, and, and the players did that tonight. Thank you. Greg, can I ask, <coughs> sorry, can I ask, um, you, you know, the substitutions, you took Ollie off and brought Blair on, and, you know, some people may have thought you'd rest Darcy at that point. Was that kind of, you know, you wanted, you know, you wanted to give Darcy a chance to kind of carry on what he was doing and race, chase that 89 points? You know, what was the thinking behind this, was what I'm asking? Uh, it was really to find out which of the back three were um, struggling the most physically. Kyle had injured his ankle in the first half, and I thought we'd, we were going to have to make a, a change earlier than planned. Um, Ollie got a couple of whacks, one on his face, he, he got a whack in his shin as well. Uh, so we really, that was a decision, um, just to minimise the risks. Uh, people are already got little niggles. Um, so no, it was, it was nothing to do with uh, anything thinking about next week. Um, I think during the week, I did say to Blair, you might come on at 10, you might come on at 15, you might come on wing. And he, he, I thought he did really well when he came on at 15. You mentioned the injuries, well, the knocks there. Is there anyone else, is there anybody that you're concerned about? No, no, I think 
they're the usual straight after a game collisions. Oli Oli got a whack of the shins. Uh, I thought Kyle did very well to to get over his um, jarred ankle, uh, but he played eighty minutes, so he he feels he'll be he'll be good to go for next week. Thank you, Gregory. Uh, two more yellow cards at stage. Yellow cards in the bunker. Um, thoughts? Uh, I have not watched them back. I think that was my response after the South Africa game as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah you got to trust the system, Tom. So, why why do you have to trust the system? Because <laughs> the system's put in place to make sure we we make good decisions there. And yeah, the, the I suppose the good news tonight is the the head collisions that our players suffered were were with much force and they didn't require. Um, and HIA, which meant our players um, showed no concussion, concussive symptoms. So that's one positive. Okay, and just finally for me, can you think over the games against Ireland? And is there anything specific that jumps out about Scotland's downfall in those games? Is there something that you did or didn't do that kind of created life, created difficult for yourself? <laughs> yeah, it's a very leading question. Um, and the games we played, they're all different, um, apart from the fact that Ireland have won the, the last seven or eight. Uh, there, there's been the, the games that we've um, played better in. We've certainly um, put pressure on Ireland on the scoreboard. Um, we've had opportunities to, to go and win a game uh, or potentially draw a game. I remember out in Dublin, we had we lost by seven points in 2020. I think it was, um, and we had we left. We definitely left a couple of tries on the field in 2021. Uh, Murrayfield, it was I think it was 21 all or 24 all, going into the last two or three minutes. This and to be probably to to reflect on this year's performance, that was probably our best performance um, for for 50 minutes. We had a couple of huge opportunities in the first half. One we got. Um, after doing our mid line break um, to five metres of the Irish line, we we lost the ball in contact, and just before half time, uh, we were close to scoring, and, the, and we got bundled into touch. So, I think at any test match, when you play a team who are very good, are ranked in the top top three or four, and Ireland are now the number one team in the world, you have to take your opportunities, but you've got to create them first as well, and. Uh, the encouraging thing is we have created opportunities, taking them, and playing, playing at a level of intensity and accuracy till the final whistle is important, uh, and that's always challenging against the top teams. But we believe in our our team uh, that we're capable of doing that. Thank you. On the left. Hi, Roger. Hi. Um, ben Healy, hundred percent from the tee. I think. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, I thought I thought he played really well. He, um, it's a it's a tricky game uh, when you've you've got to do the basics first. And he talked about a lot about that with with the group. You got to make sure that you you manage the game and where to to attack or where to kick, depending on speed of ball, depending on what what the defense is doing. And then when situations open up when opposition go down to, to 14 and 13 men, how do you exploit that? Um, and how do you keep on task and not get ahead of yourself when the scoreboard is is going up? And I felt he did that really well. Um, and he grew into the game as a runner too in the second half, um, which is something that he's he's definitely developing and, and showing in our trainings. Uh, the goal kicking was, was an added bonus. Um, and we, we were encouraging them to kick quickly. Uh, so to, to knock them over and be accurate with not taking the full minutes kicking was was well done to him as well. Thank you. And then the final question at the front. Hi, Gregor. Um, you said before the game you sort of challenged some of the players that had not much time to, to make it make a case to play against Ireland or be involved against Ireland. You mentioned Hamish there. Is there anybody else from the, the kind of fringe <laughs> guys that you thought... Yeah, all, all of them, all of them. I thought, I thought the, the way the players apply themselves in training, like to be given that opportunity, you could see how much they, they wanted to go and grab it. And it's been a tough, 
time for a lot of these players to not play. Uh, some of them haven't played since the Italy game and our first World Cup warm-up game. And that was a deliberate policy to keep a 23, a 15 working as much together as we built up to the, the South Africa game. And then when you have a two-week break and then on to this game another week, it's a long time to get ready to play in the World Cup. But they, they grabbed their opportunity tonight. Now, whether that means they play next week or not, we, we'll, we'll get through selection and, and we'll decide the, the best team we believe to, to go out and beat Ireland. But I'm really pleased with the, the level of competition, the depth we have and the, the individual performances tonight that, that mean whoever goes out next week, we, we'll be confident in their ability to get the job done. Fantastic. And that is a wrap. Thank you very much, everybody. The mix zone is now open. If you just head straight up the back of the room, the volunteers will guide you. Thank you.